Hi there, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. Today I'm having a look at the new SolarX X1 and X3 three phase and single phase hybrids. So X1 is the single phase, uh, 5 kilowatt rated with a 6 kilowatt charger. And the three phase comes in different model sizes. I think it's 5, 6, 8, and 10 kilowatts. So it's a 10 kilowatt, this one unit behind me, um, just over my shoulder here. Um, and the single phase is the one here. Now first up, uh, this is a big change from previous SolarX hybrids, which were all um, IP21, indoor only. These are IP65. These can go outdoors uh, in the rain and the weather. But what's new as well is the batteries that come with them. Now, these are their new triple power batteries. Uh, they come in a range of sizes. I've got the 4.5 kilowatt hour batteries, and they're what were so-called high voltage batteries. I must admit I don't like that name because uh, we know that high voltage really is uh, uh, over 1500 volts DC, but anyway, marketing wins. In Australia, high voltage just means not 48 volt. Uh, so these batteries are 100 volt units, and if I just pan a little bit so you can see them there, uh, they can be connected in series to give um, an operating voltage suitable for the particular inverter you're connecting them to. So we've got uh, seven batteries here. Four of them in series are connected to the three-phase hybrid. Uh, so the three-phase hybrid, which is uh, this uh, lovely unit here on the wall, um, 10 kilowatt rated, it will take four batteries in series at 440 volts max approximately, uh, and can run in EPS mode with a brake straight out of the unit. That means that when the power goes off, the EPS circuit after a short delay will come alive. Or with a, a changeover switch, an automatic transfer switch can do a no-brake supply to the EPS circuits. Well, no-brake being less than 10 milliseconds. These units can also do what's called um, uh, un balanced load support. That means for a three-phase inverter, typically if you have loads on one phase, the other two phases uh, have to be producing at the same rate, which can mean in a hybrid situation that to support a, a two kilowatt load on, on phase A, um, you'll be exporting uh, two kilowatts on phase B and C, which is a bit unfortunate when you're trying to self-use. But this inverter can actually do unbalanced load support. So just support the, the phase that's requiring um, supply from solar and battery. It also can be connected in master and slaves, so you can have one master with one power meter and nine slaves. That means you can build a 100 kilowatt system out of 10 of these units uh, and have a very simple control over the whole unit um, with just the master and it's one meter. So that's a pretty nice feature. The, uh, the batteries come with a BMS. Now this little unit here is the BMS and below here is the battery. The BMS you need one per uh, string of batteries and it is pretty much plug and play. Uh, all the connectors are these lovely amphenol connectors um, and they're polarity sensitive so you can't put them around the wrong way or anything. It's, uh, it's pretty idiot proof. Uh, you basically plug it all together, um, connect the comms cable, uh, turn the power on and away you go. You've got, you've got a communication system uh, right back to your inverter telling you stay to charge etc. Now these inverters can be um, done in various work modes so you can do what's called self-use which is the most popular for those who want to self-use their solar power. Uh, you can also do time of use so if you've got cheap power at certain times of the day you can schedule um, charge and discharge periods. Um, it's got backup mode, which means it'll try and keep the batteries uh, fully charged at all times. So this is becoming a pretty standard feature of a lot of inverters now, is to have different work modes. Um, the front screen display, uh, usual basic information about power levels and state of charge of the battery. You can program the whole thing from the front screen. Uh, uh, I like that. I mean, apps are nice. Apps are good. But... Fingers work really well too, so um, I'm liking the fact that I can just program it very simply and very quickly uh, right from the front panel. Of course there's cloud-based monitoring that comes with uh, the SolarX systems as well. The cloud uh, monitoring has gone through a new evolution and uh, the SolarXCloud.com uh, is pretty impressive in terms of the graphics and uh, usability and in terms of impressing customers, uh, that's always important. So here we've got the single phase unit. Now the single phase unit is a, a 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter, but actually it has a 6 kilowatt battery charger built in. So combination of uh, solar and grid, it can charge, or um, uh, overpowered solar, can charge the battery at, uh, at up to 6 kilowatts. And we've connected to this um, three of these new triple power 
um, batteries from, from SolarX, and so I'll just bring you around so you can see them. Uh, so these last three here uh, are connected in series at 300 volts. So four and a half kilowatt hours of usable power, um, and we've got three of them, so it's, that's quite a nice little system, around about 13 and a half kilowatt hours on the wall. Now one of the things I really like about uh, these batteries is their luggability. Now I didn't invent that term. Um, they're, they're quite easy to manoeuvre. I haven't got the weight stats straight in front of me, but they must be around the 45, 50 kilo mark, which means two people, and they've got nice grip points, can quite comfortably move them around. They can sit on the ground, um, or they can be hung on the wall. They come with a small wall bracket, and uh, it's very quick to stick it up. In fact, my students who installed this, they said the hardest part was just getting them all straight and evenly spaced. Uh, the, the bracketing system was pretty 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 quick. So small bracket on the wall, hang them on there. Now these batteries are IP65 as well, so they can go outdoors. Um, they are weatherproof. Um, with any lithium ion battery, which these are lithium ion phosphates, you still got to be cautious about temperature. Um, I wouldn't be putting them in direct sunlight, particularly uh, in afternoon um, heat in a warm location. So even though they're IP65, you still want to protect them from direct sunlight um, to keep them within their warranty conditions. So that's the, the two new units here at the Smart Energy Lab, the single phase SolarX Hybrid and the three phase SolarX Hybrid. Really impressed with their performance too. Thanks a lot. See you soon.